I see so many people out there walking with duck feet that I had to shoot another video. Hi, Todd Martin here with The Walking Code. In this video, I wanted to go into some more detail on the duck foot walk and explain what is it, why do people do it, is it bad for you, and how you can fix it. Before we get started, go ahead and click the like button. I also encourage you to click on the join button and become a member so you can support the channel and also get access to all of the exclusive content, which includes the full walking code core technique course. So let's get into duck foot walking. What is it? Now duck foot walking, as you can see in this video clip here, is walking with the feet turned out. The medical terminology for duck foot walking is out towing. In this clip, you can see the gentleman walking with his feet turned out about 30 to 40 degrees instead of facing straight forward as they should be when we walk normally. So why do people walk with duck feet? If you look it up, the common listed reasons are going to be an injury to the leg, hip, knee, ankle, or foot, or muscle tightness, or a sedentary lifestyle causing an anterior pelvic tilt. But I'm gonna to have to say that doesn't make a lick of sense. Just walk out your door and watch people walking and you'll see that about 20 or 30% of people are walking with duck feet. In this short clip here, you'll see eight people walking with the same dysfunctional duck foot movement pattern. That is not consistent with this being a problem of an injury to one leg or the other leg or a sedentary lifestyle. These are all young, healthy appearing people walking with a symmetric pattern of duck feet, which would not be consistent with an injury to one leg or the other leg. I believe duck feet walking is simply a mistaken pattern of movement that people adopt because we are not trained how to walk properly. Our bodies are designed in a way that we can move and adapt to a variety of different terrains. That sort of variety of movement options that we have also put us at risk for developing improper movement patterns. If our body was only able to move in one way, it'd be hard to move ineffectively, but we would have limited options. The increased options that we have cause us to have more options for moving incorrectly. And that's what's going on with the duck foot walk. The good news is this means it can be corrected with education. Now let's look at, is the duck foot walk bad for you? Well, as a matter of fact, it is. When we move correctly with the feet lined up in the direction that the knees are going, all of our joints and connective tissues are in a position where they have minimal stress on them. However, when we walk with the feet turned out, the knees and the hips and the ankles are not lined up with the direction of movement. So as the weight collapses towards the inside of the leg, as we transfer the weight forward, we are adding additional stress to the insides of the connective tissue and the joints in all of those locations. So let's ask, is the duck foot walk bad for you? The fact is, it is bad for you. When we walk normally, all of our structures in the legs and the hips are lined up moving in the direction that we're moving. That includes our feet, our ankles, our knees, and our hips. When we walk with duck feet, our feet, knees, ankles, hips are all turned out as they're traveling forwards, so they're not lined up in the direction of movement. This causes the weight to transfer over the insides of all these structures rather than being evenly distributed across the joints. This added stress is going to create abnormal wear and tear on these joints and connective tissues that eventually can lead to pain. We can see in this split screen image, when we're walking with our feet facing straight forward, the inside of the knee is lined up nicely with the inside of the ankle, and the middle of the knee is lined up nicely over the middle of the ankle, and our weight distribution is evenly distributed over the foot. When we're walking with duck feet, you can see with this gentleman, the inside of the knee is not lined up over the inside of the ankle, and in fact, all of the body weight is being carried over the inside of the ankle instead of being evenly distributed. 
and this is going to collapse the arch over time and add extra stress, as I mentioned earlier, that can lead to early knee arthritis, hip problems, and back pain. Can the duck foot walk be fixed? Well, the first thing we have to do is understand what's happening. Assuming the person doing it doesn't have a actual anatomical defect or external tibial torsion where the lower leg is physically turned out relative to the upper leg, which I believe is very uncommon, as long as that's not the case, this is a matter of fixing the function that's going on that's causing the duck foot walk. The first thing I'll show you here that you can see very clearly is when somebody is walking with duck feet, when they initiate the swing through portion of the step, they are powering that with the swing leg hip. You can see this gentleman lifting his swing leg forward to move the leg forward at that swing through part of the gait. When we walk normally, we are powering the swing through portion of the gait with our standing leg hip lifting the body forward. You can see that happening as the standing leg is extended behind the body instead of the swing leg reaching forward to place. If people learn how to correctly power the swing through part of their gait with the standing leg rather than the swing leg, there's going to be a natural compensation that brings the feet back into alignment. One of the other problems with duck foot walking that is difficult to visualize is the incorrect use of the lower abdominal muscles. If you've been studying the walking code at all, you'll understand that proper movement from the core is always with rotation, meaning we're rotating one side forward on the upper torso at a time, and we're rotating one side backwards with the lower torso at a time, meaning activating our lower abdominal muscles on one side at a time to root the standing leg and keep the center of gravity rooted over that leg. When people walk with duck feet, what they're most often doing is engaging both of the lower abs at the same time, over tucking the pelvis, and that externally rotates the pelvis and the feet at the same time. And as a compensation for that, generally they are not being actively rotating with their upper abdominal muscles, which go slack. So it creates a posture problem that affects the spine, not only the lower legs. The way our human anatomy is set up is we have to have balanced rotation from the upper core and the lower core to keep vertical posture and keep natural movement. When we abnormally move one of those elements, meaning double tucking on the lower part of the waist, we compensate by relinquishing that proper rotation from the upper part of the waist. And this is what's going to be happening with most people who are duck foot walking. They're not really shifting their weight from one leg to the other. Their spine is staying right in the middle because they're really rooted on both feet at the same time and just swinging each leg forward when they walk. This causes a lot more stress than is obvious from just looking at what is happening. You can't really see the posture problem when somebody's walking with duck feet, but you can tell it's there based on the nature of the movement that's going on. If you're trying to fix your own problem with duck foot walking, I would recommend becoming a member on the channel and going through the entire walking code course so you can understand the coordination between the upper core, lower core, and the hips that is necessary for proper movement technique. When we learn the proper movement techniques, then we can correct some of these abnormal issues that are going on like duck foot walking or leaning forward or the cross arm swing or other things that imbalance our body and put us at risk for abnormal wear and tear. I hope you found that helpful. Again, if you haven't clicked the like button, go ahead and do that and click on the join button and become a member. Thank you for watching.